Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Alright, in today's tutorial we're going to begin working on the jump. We're not actually going to make the jump really work today, um, but we are going to make the player at least, we're going to make some of the checks and balances before they jump to make sure uh, that they aren't already jumping, to make sure they're already on something, stuff like that, uh, so that they can jump. Now, all we're going to do, we're going to go up here and make another thing, variables. Uh, and I know those are variables up here, but we're not including those in this section um, because they're more just links to things to shorten stuff. Uh, this is actually a very variable, a varying variable, varying like it can change. And this is going to be jumping equals false. And that's going to be, if they're already jumping, they can't jump again. Uh, jumping equals false, okay? Uh, jump, or er, we're also going to make one more thing, and it's going to be called the Y-Vel. And what that stands for is the Y-Velocity, uh, but Y-Vel is much shorter. And this is just going to be added every time. Every time the player is going through, the Y-Vel is going to be added to the player. So Y-Vel, or er, player dot position oops dot y dot scale plus or equals player dot position dot y dot scale plus y vel and that'll just move him down or up corresponding to what it is and this y vel is just going to make our jump seem better than just going up 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 down 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 okay um now, he is going to jump a little bit, but the thing is, is today he's only going to be going up. Um, he's not going to ever come back down for us today. That will be Monday. And by the way, yes, I'm sorry the week's over today. But we've had some long and really good tutorials this week, so I am happy about that. Back to this, though. If player dot w dot value then jump and we'll go up here and make another function and we're not going to have collision detection on this part yet uh, but we will later on uh, probably do that Tuesday or Wednesday of next week but right now this is just going to make jumping equal true oh that reminds me we also need to double check and not jumping down here Jumping equals true. Yvel equals, um, actually, better idea would be if jumping then, and we'll have something down here. Um, else if, and that will just control him, keep uh, keep him moving. Then Yvel equals one, or not point one. Well, a scale of one would be huge. All right, point oh one. And in this jumping part here, if it, he's jumping, then yvel equals yvel minus 0 0 0.001. Uh, or actually, 0 0.03, probably. Um, and then if yvel is less than. Alright, sorry about that. I kind of got cut off in the middle there. Um, anyway. I think we were talking about the Y bell. Okay. And if the Y bell is less than zero point Hmm. What's our maximum here? Okay. Zero point one. Um then Y bell equals zero and um Okay. So what this is going to do, and I lied, he is actually going to be able to go down in this tutorial. Um, what this is going to do is it's just going to constantly change the Y value and move it down so that he can start falling back down. And uh, you know what, we should probably change that to point zero one so he can actually jump for a good amount of time. Press F6, and uh, let's wait for the magic here. All right, it's loaded, so let's just press W. W is not a valid member of player. Really? Players, player one. There is no W. Okay, let's close this test then. 
uh, workspace, script, and apparently a, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, D, ah, there is no W. Yep, I had to go through the entire alphabet like probably everybody else does. Anyway, so there was no W. That would cause a huge problem. Um, but now we can go check that the W is working and we can make the player jump um, after of course it finishes loading here which it does not like to do alright there we go alright now press W scale cannot be assigned to really line 80 wow longest script we've ever had in this tutorial series I believe oh there's our problem Player dot position uh, equals player dot position plus I misspelled that plus udim two dot new um, zero zero and we don't need this part we just need the y value I don't know what I was thinking there uh, it I should have known that would have never worked um, but it, I at least figured it out thanks to output telling me this. And wow, 80 lines of code, guys. You should be really proud because we've written so much and it's working. Um, other than, of course, the fact that I fail at typos. Alright, he moved down. He did move down. Um, I did realize a problem with our script again. Um, we need to change this to minus... Uh, at the bottom here, negative y val. So let's just change that to minus. And what I, it's easier to think of the y val, y velocity of going up as being positive and going down as being negative. So that's why we're going to subtract it because that'll change negatives to positives and positives to negatives. And if you add something to the y scale, it's going to go down. So if we have the going up as being positive, and it, that'll actually move him down unless we change it to be negative. Uh, down there there we go he moved up he didn't move up perfectly as much as I was hoping for him to but he did in fact move up um, and that's all we really need to work on for today I want to get one more thing done with him though um, and that is change jumping to equal false once it gets below that point uh, and the Y belt is changed I just want to do that and see how he, how well he works, and hopefully it works fairly well. All right, keep loading Roblox Studio. I would rather you not have to load Bay. I realize that programming requires that sometimes. There we go. He's jumping a little better, and now we can probably jump over and over and over. So as you can definitely tell, the jumping is not done. We will need to add collision detection. Um, and we will definitely, definitely, definitely have to make him actually fall better and move more smoothly. But the beginnings, the basics, the concept of jumping is underway. Alright, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Of course, by any day you felt about this video, it helps a lot for me forming my series and figuring out what you guys do and don't like, literally. Um, so I will catch you guys later.